Welcome to the UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Brain Blast series. My name is James Brewer, and I'm the director of the UC San Diego Department of Neurosciences and the Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. I'm a professor of neurology, a clinical neurologist, and a brain imaging researcher. I'm pleased to present to you our virtual Brain Blast series. Each of the talks included in the series have been created by Shiley Marcos ADRC colleagues with expertise in brain aging research that focuses on prevention, detection, diagnosis, and treatment of Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. Each of the experts featured in the series studies a unique aspect of brain aging and has developed a brief overview of their current research to highlight the state-of-the-art work that's going on here at UCSD and our center. We hope you'll take advantage of this free resource to learn more about the advances in brain aging, the importance of research, and the multitude of opportunities to get involved and participate in research studies. Hi everyone, I am Erin Sunderman. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry at University of California, San Diego and an ADRC investigator. I would like to tell you about a study that we are seeking uh, volunteer participants. This study is focused on women and is called Women Inflammation in Tau Study, or WIPS. It is well known that women bear the biggest burden uh, when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. They represent two thirds of Alzheimer's cases and they tend to show higher levels of Alzheimer's related brain changes compared to men, including deposition of a protein in the brain called phosphorylated tau or p-tau. It is still unknown why this is the case and we hope to help answer this question through this study. We know that inflammation plays a key role in Alzheimer's disease and greater inflammation in the central nervous system has been linked to greater p-tau. There are also sex differences in inflammation where women tend to have a stronger immune response than men, which is what leads to greater inflammation. Women also represent 80% of autoimmune disorders. So clearly there's differences uh, in how inflammation is acting in women and men. And it is possible that inflammation is a mechanism underlying these sex differences in PTAU and Alzheimer's disease more broadly. Certain lifestyle factors like sleep and exercise have been shown to impact Alzheimer's risk. And in some cases, this impact seems to be stronger in women, perhaps due to the effect of these lifestyle factors on inflammation. So this led us to think, could these lifestyle factors be key to developing personalized Alzheimer's risk reduction strategies that are tailored to women? In comes a study where we want to investigate how do levels of inflammation in the brain affect PTAU and ultimately memory performance in women. Secondly, how do biological factors like sex hormones and lifestyle factors like exercise influence levels of inflammation and ultimately PTAU and memory performance in women? Because these factors can be altered with either pharmaceutical or behavioral interventions, could these factors represent interventions that could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease? The lifestyle factors that we are specifically interested in include sleep, physical activity, and insulin resistance, which is related to one's diet and represents a risk factor for diabetes. The reason why investigations like this are so important is because up to 30% of Alzheimer's cases could be delayed or prevented with various lifestyle interventions. So identifying which factors might be most influential, specifically in women, is really vital. So any woman, woman who is at least 65 years of age at a somewhat higher risk for developing Alzheimer's due to familial or genetic factors and not currently enrolled in a clinical trial are eligible for this study. Study participation will involve a screening visit that can be done remotely from the comforts of your own home. Uh, what is involved in the screening visit is pictured over in the, in the blue box on the right and includes a study description, answering questions about your medical history, doing a quick thinking task on your computer, and collecting a slide of sample that you will mail to us for anal analysis of Alzheimer's related genes. The study visits will take place on weekdays during normal visits, 
visit hours and each visit will last about two to four hours. Study procedures include a battery of thinking tests and questionnaires, MRI and a PET brain scan, a lumbar puncture and a uh, blood draw, and wearing a watch size digital devices that will measure the amount and quality of sleep and physical activity. So this provides a visual of the study layout where after the remote screening visit, if you are eligible and enrolled, you would come to UCSD a month later for visit one. Visit one will involve a battery of thinking tests and an MRI brain scan, a blood draw and a lumbar puncture uh, so that we can measure levels of sex hormones and markers of inflammation in blood and cerebral spinal fluid. Then you will be sent home with the wrist-worn digital devices to wear for one week to measure sleep and physical activity. You would bring these devices back one week later at your second visit where a PET brain scan will be done. One year later, participants will come back for two more study visits where just the MRI and PET brain scans and the battery of thinking tests will be repeated. At the end of the study, we suspect that we will find that certain inflammatory markers will relate to changes in brain levels of PTAL and memory performance over time. We also suspect that levels of sex hormones, particularly testosterone and lifestyle factors will influence PTAL and memory performance by promoting or inhibiting inflammation. Our ultimate goal is that these findings will inform what kind of interventions will be most fruitful in preventing or delaying Alzheimer's disease for women and why. So of course, none of this important work can be done without the generosity and selflessness of volunteers. Um, it is really your participation in studies like this that will help us to put an end to Alzheimer's disease. And for that, we are forever grateful. Uh, so thank you. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more about the study, including compensation, you can contact the UC San Diego ADRC. Thanks so much. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation from our UC San Diego Shiley Marcos Alzheimer's Disease Research Center Virtual Brain Blast series. Please look for other presentations in this series and share them with your communities. We hope that you'll also consider participating with, in brain research studies. We always have new opportunities for participation and are actively seeking individuals 65 and older without memory disorders, as well as those with a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease and related dementias, such as frontotemporal dementia, Lewy body dementia, and Parkinson's dementia, as well as others. We're also proud to have a bilingual, bicultural team who conduct studies, visits in Spanish. Your participation can make a real difference for future generations. Please click on the description below to complete the very brief survey about the presentation you just viewed. And for those who are interested and who live in San Diego, we'll be happy to contact you. Simply provide your contact information on the secure survey. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.